I think it was this pen here, the button click. Right after I'd posted the video on it, I got a comment from somebody and he said that he liked this pen and he'd actually turned it himself, but he found it a little hard to hold on to. Your fingers have a tendency to want to slip down on it because of the way it's shaped and it's very smooth here. So I thought about that and I had never turned a cushion grip pen. So I'm going to turn the cushion grip pen from Lee Valley. And uh, it's got a rubber cushion right here. I'm sure you've seen them. Now this particular kit, it called for a size O drill bit. And so I had uh, a whole bunch of drill pits and I thought I had an O. No O. So I got out my caliper here and I measured the brass tube and I thought, well, I'll go for the next size up. Find something that's just a smidge bigger. And I did. I found one. It's 8.03 millimeters. Well, I checked it a little bit and I found out that's actually a letter O. You're never free from surprises until you're dead. And I'm glad I'm still getting surprises. Now I actually have two of these kits. Well, I guess to be honest with you, I've got 10 of them because with Lee Valley, that's the cheapest way to go. You get a bargain if you buy 10. So I bought 10 of these kits. I'll eventually use them up. And uh, I'm going to use oak, like I did on this particular button click. I'm going to use this right here. Now each one of these kits only takes one blank right there. So I think I should be able to turn two blanks down at the same time using this mandrel. You know, I sometimes wonder, does sanding these tubes like this actually help? Or would they glue up just as good if I didn't bother? Well, I'm sure I'm not the first person that this has happened to. It's gluing this up and the CA set up before I had the brass tube in the right place here. So what I've done is I've cut a little piece of aspen here. And I'm going to try and glue it on the end, like this. Then after I turn it down, I'll have a oak and then a little light ring. I don't know how this is going to look. Now I do have extra brass tubes. Whenever I get a kit I always order extra brass tubes of the same size just in case something like this happens. Um, now believe it or not this is the first time this has happened to me. Okay now you can tell I've had it happen twice. I'm getting worse instead of better. Well, I've assembled both of those pens and I've come to the conclusion that there's a problem in the click mechanism, the way it's designed. 
uh, they they're both difficult this one is it's working but every so often it jams up this other one that I've taken apart here it jams up after about three or four clicks and I could be wrong but I think what the uh, problem is is that when they wound the spring instead of winding it this way they wound it this way and of course the ink cartridge in this type of pen every time you click it it rotates about a quarter of a turn I don't know one way or the other and uh, then it goes back up and then you click it and it'll rotate a little bit more and I think what's happening is the spring is getting wound up uh, somehow in the in the mechanism and uh, anyway it, it jams up uh, I've made two I'm gonna make a third one and see what happens and uh, you know if the uh, third one jams up and it's not like I don't know how to do this uh, if the third one jams up the uh, other seven are going back to Lee Valley either that or I'll have to just throw them out or something because you know I, I can't give people something like this looks nice but it was not gonna you know it was gonna jam up after a few clicks anyway I'll make one more see what happens well here we go with number three and I really do hope that I can figure out the problem here because I like this uh, rubber cushion grip it does make the pen a lot easier to hold on to And as long as I got to make up another blank, I'm going to try something here. This is a strip of mahogany veneer. I'm going to see if I can't give this pen blank a little bit of pizzazz here. Right now I'm in Corel Draw. And that brown square you see, that represents a blank. About three quarters of an inch by two and a half inches. And if you put the brass tube in it, looks something like this. Now if I was to tilt it 60 degrees it would go something like that. And uh, the reason 60 degrees is because my miter saw will actually cut 60 degrees. Now let's say I took that mahogany strip and I sandwiched it in between two pieces of light colored wood like that. Well you can see what I'm planning on doing here. Well, as you can see, I'm sparing no expense here, and I'm using my good Tight Bond 3 glue. It's waterproof. You never know, this pen owner might want to take a shower while he's writing a note. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. We'll see what we've got in the morning. Okay, I admit it. I am trying to hurry the morning on just a little bit. Well, it's the next morning. And as you can see, it's dried. Well, maybe not in the center, but... But also you can see it's a little wobbly here. So I'm going to have to sand this off. Now this edge sander is a wonderful machine, but if you're not careful, it'll take your wood down from three quarters of an inch thick to half an inch before you know what happened. That's better. And I want you to watch this. Now, how many power miters do you know that'll go 60 degrees?
There's enough for nine blanks, but right now, of course, I only need the one, so I'll cut the other eight to length as I need them. Okay, I drilled the hole in the blank the same way as I did the others. And I'm going to glue it in now, and instead of using CA glue, I'm going to use epoxy. I've plugged one end here with carrot. Now it's very important when you're sanding these to the right length and that doesn't matter if you're using a sander like this or if you're using the barrel trimmer. You want to make sure that as soon as you touch the brass tube you stop. Going any further isn't going to make it any better. It's only going to make it shorter and it will eventually get to the place where it'll be too short for the mechanism to work properly. In other words the nib on the pen will always be sticking out. Now if you're wondering why is there two blanks on the mandrel, well the other one is just as a spacer. That particular mandrel is not adjustable so if you're only turning one blank you have to put in a spacer. You know, this turned out kind of nice. It's almost a shame to be putting it into a kit that might not work. Well, we'll see. Okay, you're going to see it go together for the very first time and I can guarantee you it's going to jam. These two pens don't jam anymore and the reason for that is I made an adjustment to the spring. What I did was I cut a little bit of the spring off of each end. And uh, another thing about this spring, it, it can go on two different ways. If it goes on like this, it, it turns fairly free on the, on the uh, ink refill. But if you put it on this way, it binds. It binds something fierce. Okay, so you put it on this way, but even so, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna it's gonna uh, jam. Anyway, let's give it a whirl here. See what happens. I suppose it's gonna make a liar out of me and work like a charm here. Anyway, let's give it a try. See what happens. Oh man, that's. That's terrible. It just shoved the uh, nib right out of the... I'm going to have to crazy glue that on. No, it's, it's not working. These are uh, not a good kit. I'm sorry, Lee Valley. Some of they're not a good kit. It's too bad. Okay, let's see if I can fix this. See, these ones here I got to work now. Works nice. You have to press pretty hard. It's not like the uh, Sierra button click, but it does work. So does the other one. But it took a lot of finagling around to get the thing to work. Probably going to be the same with this one. And you shouldn't have to do that. Okay, I got this to work now. It 
I'm going to stick on my macro lens and zoom right in and I'll show you what I did. Well the first thing I did was I had to crazy glue this joint here. That's not uncommon. That sometimes happens. If the brass tube is slightly oversized or if the uh, metal fitting here is undersized, you have to do that. But what I did do is I took and I cut that much off of the spring. And it seemed to make the difference. Now the reason I thought to shorten the spring is because I thought it was too long. It seemed to take too much force to drive the ink cartridge down through the nib. Well there you have it. That's the cushion grip pen kit from Lee Valley. And I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to do a lot of finagling around to make it work. Anyway, thanks for watching.